In this video, we'll explain the different tiers of seagrass meadow surveys and when they should be used. The map eelgrass monitoring methods for North Vancouver Island are divided into three tiers. Each step up from tier one to tier two to tier three requires an increased level of information and collection effort. Tier one surveys are used to quickly map where meadows are located. They provide a metric of species composition and presence along the coastline. Tier two surveys are used to collect more detailed information on eelgrass aerial extent, percent cover, eelgrass shoot density and height, as well as species composition. Tier three surveys collect similar information as tier two, but are used to survey deeper, subtitle meadows that aren't accessible by foot at low tide. Your choice of what monitoring tiers to use will depend on the questions you want to answer and the equipment you have available. Tier one survey methods are designed to efficiently find and map the location and extent of eel grass meadows over large coastal areas. These surveys are used to build an inventory of the number, size, and distribution of eelgrass meadows throughout a specified region of interest. Mapping the location and extent of eelgrass meadows provides a baseline for future monitoring efforts, including more detailed Tier 2 and Tier 3 surveys. Tier 2 survey methods collect detailed observations from individual eelgrass meadows, including mapping the meadow perimeter and measuring eelgrass percent cover and density. High resolution drone imagery is also encouraged for tier two, but perimeter mapping can also be completed with a handheld GPS. Additional tier two methods add supporting observations, including species ID such as clams and crabs, and temperature and salinity measurements. By completing these surveys annually, we can observe how eelgrass meadows change over time in relation to all of these variables. Tier 3 surveys are completed by professional divers. These surveys allow us to map the subtitle parts of the eelgrass meadow and the species that live there in greater detail. We will not cover this survey tier in this video series.